Yo, what's up everybody? Swillow here and today I'm going to be giving you the ultimate end game grind. So basically, the first thing you're going to have to do here is beat the campaign and unlock chaos mode. And once you unlock chaos mode, you're going to want to go to this stage, Hollowed Massive. So I actually showed off a grinding method through the other difficulties to farm Anima shards here. But in Hollow this stage is also going to be important for grinding in chaos as well. But there's a few tricks this time around. So let's go in here and look at this. When you go into chaos difficulty, uh, stages have levels. So they have they this level starts at this place starts at level 60, and you can get any stage all the way up to 300. So basically, the goal here is to get up to 300 as fast as possible, so that you can start grinding that highest level loot possible. So when you get the chaos difficulty. You're going to come to this stage and you're going to go to the level 160 version. And then you're going to grind the level 160 version until you have enough anima crystals to unlock the level 200 version. And then you're going to grind the level 200 version until you have enough crystals to unlock the level 300 version. So the reason you're going to switch uh, is because when you're below level 200 and you're grinding this enemy, you're only going to get one anima crystal each time you defeat him. Once you get to level 200 and up, you're going to get two anima crystals each time you defeat him. And then once you get to level 300, each time you defeat the enemy, you're going to get three anima crystals. So let's just get right in here. And basically the reason you need anima crystals is they're required for unlocking higher levels of the stage so let's say initially to unlock the level 160 version of the stage you're going to need like one anima crystal or something and then to unlock the level 200 version you're going to need like 30 or something and then to unlock the level 300 version you're going to need about it took me like 230 anima crystals i think so it takes a lot of crystals to unlock the level 300 version of this stage so once you're here basically you can run past everything there's one thing you're going to have to fight and it can be a bit of a challenge if you're coming here under leveled but it's possible you just have to take your time and approach it like it's a boss fight almost basically we're gonna run through all of this and also something to note all these little wolves back here if you were coming to this stage and you're under leveled you can actually fight them and grind your loot up a little bit to get past so this is the one thing we have to fight here So that's it. Once you get past this, you're good. Now, I'd, obviously it looked easy for me right there because my gear is high level. But when I first came here, my gear was like level 200 on this level 300 stage. And it was incredibly hard to get past that. Like, I couldn't one-shot that. It took me, like, I actually had to sit there and fight all the mobs and handle it. Like, it was almost like a boss fight, basically. It was a pretty long fight. But um, basically, once you get past that, you're just running from then on. So you're coming up here. And we need haste. Okay. So we're going to go up here. Now this little spot right here, you got to wait for the avalanche to fall before you can go through it. So we're just going to kind of run a, run around until this avalanche falls. You don't really have to fight anything here. I mean, I'm just doing it to kill time, basically. But basically, once the avalanche falls, you're good. So now that the avalanche has fallen... I'm just gonna run through here. Rock solid. What did this? And there's basically one uh, small they thing you have to take note of, which is as soon as we get out of this cave, there's gonna be a collapsible floor. Don't look very stable. Let's keep one eye on the ceiling. Okay, so once we're out here, you have to hug this right wall. You have to stand this right. Because if you can see right here, that part of the floor will collapse if you run over it. So stay on the right, run up here, run up into this cave. Oh boy. Alright. So right here, we get to our save crystals, and this is it. So this is the destination. So basically, this enemy, this griffin enemy, is the main enemy we're going to fight to grind. Now... 
when you first get here, let's say you're um, coming fresh out of chaos and you have like level 110 gear, level around level 100 gear and you go to this level 160 stage. Um, it's going to be more challenging to fight him initially whenever you have that gear gap, but it's still possible to beat him. Because basically the point I'm at right now, I can one shot him. But initially you're not going to be able to one shot him. You're going to have to handle it like it's a mini boss fight. But the thing is, each time you beat him, you're going to get gear drops from him. So you can quickly get your gear up to his level. And once you have gear at his level, you should be able to one to two shot him. You may have to modify your build a little bit. Like I'm going to show you the build I'm using for this. And maybe people will discover other builds that are faster for killing uh, things. But right now, this has been the most effective build for me. And we're just going to run up here. Charge a brutal tackle. And that's it. So we beat him. You see we get three anemic crystals. And then we get all his drops here. You know, you're getting crests for your job as well. You're getting EXP. So you're getting like everything. So then you're just going to run back here. Respawn. Cast haste. Run up here. On your toes. And that's it. This is the whole process right here. So you're just gonna rinse this process. Now, like I said, it's gonna it's not gonna be as easy to kill him initially when you're coming with underpowered gear, but once you defeat him a handful of times and you get the stronger gear you need. I need to get a little closer. Once you get the stronger gear you need to actually beat him, then uh, it just becomes much easier. And basically once you get to this level 300 uh, mission and you're able to continuously grind this guy, you're going to be able to get the Anima Crystals you need to unlock the level 300 version of all other stages. Plus, this is going to just be like an easy catalyst to get into high level gear. So all this gear that he's dropping, you know, I could use it uh, for my builds or I can dismantle it for a lot of parts and then I can go grind the other stages that I actually want to grind. So let me show an example of that. Let's abandon the mission. And we'll actually look at the mission layout of Chaos just to give you an idea of how you should approach the end game. Okay, so basically if you look at each stage, it tells you the kind of items that it drops. It t shows you the main item drops, the completion rewards and such. So if you're looking for if you're looking for axes, hammers, or whatever, then you want to find a stage that has the kind of drops you're looking for, and so on and so on. You're looking for hammer, you're looking for shields, you're looking for whatever, and then you basically just choose that stage. So you know, if I want to come to Chaos Shrine, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for swords. You know, they have great swords here, so I would come here and unlock. So you see up here, it takes 253 Anima Crystals to unlock the level 300 version of this stage. So definitely have a plan in mind when you're unlocking these level 300 version of the stage because it takes a lot of anima crystals. Of course, you can go to the you can go grind up more, especially once you get the level 300 version of Hollowed Massive. It's going to be easier to grind up the next uh, batch of crystals to unlock a 300 stage. But definitely have a plan in mind. Uh, don't just unlock like level 300 stages at random. Be like, yeah, this is the gear I want, so let me unlock this stage. And also something to consider uh, when you beat the highest level version of a stage you get all of the rewards from the previous levels so honestly like if you beat a level 300 version of a stage you're gonna get a lot of crystals as well you see I'm gonna get all these crystals from previous as well as some nice gear that you could possibly use or just dismantle but yeah that's basically how you're gonna approach the end game the end game is basically just trying to get up to the level 300 missions and then grinding out the stages that have the kind of loot you want anyways if you guys have any questions just let me know thanks peace